close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel the breath. When you breathe out, notice where you feel it. Try to focus your attention there on the feeling, and breathe in a way so that that feeling feels good. You might like longer breathing or shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Experiment for a while. See what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. Sometimes it's good to start with a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths first to sort of air out the body, and then let the breath find a good rhythm. What you're doing is giving the mind a place to stay in the present moment, because it's here where the mind can observe itself. Why do we want to observe the mind? Because the mind is what shapes our sense of well-being or our lack of well-being. You see this in other people. Some people live in lots of wealth, everything around them seems to be good, but they're miserable. Other people live in poverty and they're happy. So it shows that outside circumstances don't determine whether you're going to be happy or not. What determines what your happiness is the skill with which the mind deals with its outside circumstances and the skill with which it deals with things coming up inside. And to develop that skill, you first got to learn how to observe the mind, see what it's doing. You can't observe it in the past, you can't observe it in the future, even though the mind runs off to the past, runs off to the future a lot. You can only observe it right here. So learn how to settle down right here. This is why we want to make the breath comfortable, so it's a good place to settle in. It's like watching a TV. You don't want to sit on nails. You want to sit in a nice, comfortable chair. So if you want to watch your mind, you sit with a nice, comfortable breath. And then what are you going to see? You're going to see the mind has intentions, and its intentions are determined by its views about things. And they're also determined by its hungers. If there's a hunger for a little hit of pleasure, you're going to go running after something even though part of you knows better. So this is one of the reasons why we work with getting the mind settled in with the breath, so that the mind isn't quite so hungry. And then you can watch what's going on, and you see greed, aversion, and delusion come up, you're in a much better position to say no, because you know that they're going to take you to bad places. As for good states of mind, you can say yes, even though they may be difficult to develop, like developing a good, strong state of concentration requires work. But you realize that over the long term it's going to be what's good for you, so you learn how to say yes to that. This way, you start as you start straightening out your mind, you also find you start straightening out your life. If the mind's in good shape, then you're a lot less likely to do things that are harmful to yourself, harmful to others. And as for bad things coming in from outside, you learn how to sidestep them, you learn how to deal with them more effectively, because you're not so embroiled in your own greed, inversion, delusion. You're stepping back a bit so you can see things more clearly. And when you see things clear, then you can deal with things in time as they come at you. So this is an important skill. This is one of the reasons why we bow down to the Buddha so much. He taught this skill in such a way that it's still alive now, 2000, now it's 600 years later. And that's a skill that's always given results to people who really give it a, a good try. So we've got the opportunity to practice. Make sure you make the most of it. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Because of all the skills you can learn in life, this is the most important one. The one that guarantees that no matter what else happens outside, at least inside, you don't have to suffer. You're not creating any suffering for yourself, you're not creating any suffering for other people. And if you can live in the world that way, then you're living well.